Okay, opponent throws a left punch. We're going to block with a right down windmill block, full circle block, throwing him off balance. Opening up his center, and we're going to strike with the crane's beak to his throat. And grab his back behind his neck, and we're going to come up with a knee to the, to the diaphragm. And then another right knee to the rib cage or the heart. Step between his legs and through the opponent, shoving him to the ground. I'm going to pivot and come with a back left heel stomp to the groin. Next opponent throwing a left punch. I'm going to block with a right up windmill block. As I faint with the left to his face and then come with a right hammer to the nose and a left four knuckle punch to the throat. Followed by a right back knuckle to the groin pulling in my left leg for a side kick with the heel up into the heart. Next opponent throws a right punch. I'm going to get off the line of the punch, pulling it in with the double block, bringing him to me as I strike to the face with rolling punches, kicking up into the bladder, double strikes to the side of the neck, followed by a wrap around with the left leg behind his right leg and a hammer to the face, driving him down, followed up with a snap kick to the groin. Face off the next opponent's throwing a right punch. I'm going to block with a left up windmill at the same time hammering down on the nose with a kick up into the spleen. Coming down with the right elbow and breaking his right arm and then driving him to the right behind me. Coming up and shifting out to the left. Follow up with a right toe kick to the temple. Porter comes up with both fists, throws a left punch, block with the right up windmill, tiger claw down on the face, followed by a backhand to the groin. Coming in with a multiple behind the neck to the throat and up into the solar plexus with the knee at the same time. Then grabbing the head, knee to the throat, and stepping over the hips of the opponent, driving him down. Followed up with a left back kick to the groin. Opponent's coming in with the left strike. Going to right down windmill and kick to the leg at the knee at the same time. Backhand to the spleen, left punch to the rib cage, right punch to the right kidney, multiple behind the neck, solar plexus and knee, and knee with the foot at the same time, followed by grabbing behind the neck and uh, T leverage placed on his right leg with my right leg following up with the left stomp to his kneecap on his right leg. Man comes in deep with the left punch. We're going to get coming behind him, blocking the punch, coming over the shoulder, we're going to create a leverage with our arm on his shoulder and up under his chin, bringing his head back, making him fall, catching the left arm and breaking it on the knee, creating the leverage and bringing him up and a right knife edge chop to the throat. Opponent comes in with the right punch. We're going to double block as I step off the power line, 
distancing myself for a right kick to his throat. We're going to back step Nudo Ma with a slap chop to the groin, bringing him forward, locking the knee. So we're going to push on the left knee with the right palm, straightening out the leg and assessing the takedown. Next opponent's coming in. Going to move off the power line, come in behind the opponent, striking to the spine, striking to the kidneys, using body weight with the jumping up and coming down as I wrap around his neck, pulling him to the ground. As he comes down, watch the legs, catch the legs, hammer to the groin, back chop to the throat. Okay, here we hammer to the groin. Coming up with a multiple strike to the throat behind the neck with the heel kick up into the groin. Come out to a horse stance, back into his diaphragm, driving him to the ground using the body weight for the takedown. Okay, opponent comes up with the left punch. We're going to help the punch along and pull him in. Gaining control of the arm. We're going to scoop up an elbow up under the throat, under the chin, driving his head back, locking out his neck and his shoulders and his arm across my body. The so arm bar and a neck break. And then I couldn't help but hit his knee as we were getting up because it was there. It's your slow motion translation.